I'm back. Hello and welcome to a long overdue update for Project Pelinor. Uh It has been a long time. I'm sorry. Uh, I know there have been people, some, some people who have been actually requesting this. That means a lot to me because I did this with the intention of thinking, like, no one's ever going to watch these. Like, this is, it was more of a cathartic thing for me. Um, but I'm very touched that, you know, so many of you have watched them. So many of you actually asked if I was doing more. So I'm doing this. It's, it's still very much... For me, but thank you very much, uh, and I am going to start doing more videos. Um, it's been a long time, uh, a lot has changed, but you know, there's some things that are the same. Um, I do have one announcement, which is a new co-host. So this is my new co-host, Pablo. Um, he's not the most talkative or even helpful co-host. In fact, he kind of destroys more miniatures than he, than he helps me with. But, uh, yeah, this is Pablo. Got him over a year... Not over, uh, almost a year ago. And he's squirming away right now, so there you go, buddy. You will probably hear him in the background. Uh, anytime that my attention is not 100% on him, he likes to tell me about it, so you'll probably hear him. So, for many of you who know, uh, I started this project after the passing of my cousin, uh, Boo. Well, Andrew, but we called him Boo. Uh, and it was focused around Lord of the Rings. Um, we had played that system more than anything else. But I'll admit, I've kind of cheated on Lord of the Rings over the last little bit. I think after painting... Oh god, I don't know even know how many it was. I think the last count was 211 miniatures, something along those lines. And I've painted even more on top of those. I just kind of needed a break. Um... I need to be very interested in what I'm painting because it is a, it's really time consuming. And so if you're not really, you know, if you're just painting an orc just because you're like, well, I gotta paint an orc, I guess. Like, it, it kind of kills it for you. So I have branched out a little bit, which Boo did as well. He didn't just paint Lord of the Rings. He also painted 40k. He had quite a Grey Knights army put together, which I've always liked the Grey Knights as well. So I'm sure someday, maybe when they have new miniatures because some of them are pretty old. Uh, someday I'll probably do a, a Grey Knights army uh, for him. But uh, speaking of Grey Knights, I have actually kind of fallen back in love with another old love of mine, which is the Horus Heresy. So Horus Heresy Rules 2.0 dropped, uh, what is that now, over a year or two ago. Uh, it's been a bit. And I was really excited for it. Um, I still haven't got the box set yet, which I should, but it's like, it's over $300, so you know. Been biding my time on that one, but uh, I decided to start an army of Dark Angels. So, Dark Angels in 40k are green, these guys are in 30k, and they're in black armor with red red iconography and all that, and red bolters and such. And they're really cool. Um, I, I really like them, they have a really cool knight aesthetic. I mean, like, as, as you'll see, like, some of these guys are straight up just space knights with swords, <laughs> so. They're pretty cool. Uh, I have a small force of them. Only about, what is this, like, under 20 models uh, built and painted. These games are big. Uh, I think standard uh, Horus Heresy games are usually in the ballpark of about 3,000 points. Maybe less. Uh, some games are even bigger. So I've got a long way to go with them. And I've been slowly chugging through them. Um, of course, because I'm a... I'm just a stereotypical... Uh, hobbyists and, and war gamer, I have several projects on the go, so I can't just have just one. I mean, because you know, I don't like my time or money apparently, um, or having money at least. So yeah, I uh, I also have other miniatures for a game system called Zone Alpha, and uh, it's a post-apocalyptic tabletop game. Um, I believe it's based off the Stalker series of video games. And it's really cool. Uh, a friend of mine, Rise, he uh, he kind of showed me the rules, and I'm very, very interested in playing that at some point again. And yeah, so I have a bunch of models that uh, I have actually painted for that, and uh, I even have a tank that I've uh, built and painted, and now I'm just working on weathering. I've never done weathering before, so this is kind of a, a new thing for me. Uh, I'm using, like, oil washes and 
and like dust and things like that to make them really look like rusty and and like you know if, if a tank's been sitting out in the field for like 20 years like that's kind of the the vibe i'm going with so yeah so i have been busy there's been a part of me that i guess i haven't made videos because i thought well i'm not making lord of the rings right now so i don't really have any updates for that but it kind of dawned on me that this isn't just about lord of the rings this is about the hobby of you know building and painting miniatures and playing with them on the tabletop and just kind of that community uh and i guess yeah it's i've, I've always loved lord of the rings i always will and i have my armies set but i guess the original goal of painting the entire box set of the pelinor fields was done a long time ago and i had expanded and i have a few armies now built and painted and i'm i'm very happy with them you know it's it's strange to say because I know like a war gamer's work is like you know is never complete, but they're almost there, um, and yeah. So I'm I'm feeling you know like their chapter isn't over. There's still things I'm adding to them and like a few like I need some dismounts for my cavalry and things like that. But I'm I'm happy with them, and so I've kind of moved on to other things, uh, which brings me to my big announcement because again. I'm a degenerate when it comes to this stuff. Um, the anniversary of Waterloo was a couple of days ago, and there's a a, uh, a store online called Vitrix Limited or Vitrix Miniatures. They had a sale on 28 millimeter Napoleonics. I have always been into that time period. For many of you who know, I'm actually a War of 1812 reenactor. I'm a captain of the First Kentucky uh, Rifles. And so, yeah, like, black powder, like, it's in my blood, you know, like, I love, I live for that stuff. So I've always wanted to do Napoleonics. I actually have miniatures that I had built and painted a long time ago, back when I really sucked at painting, so I almost don't want to look at them. Uh, I, I will. But uh, I just wasn't sure what to do with them. And so opportunity kind of knocked. I was like, hey, here's an amazing deal. You can have 180 red coats. And it was an amazing price, and I was like, shit, <laughs> I guess I'll do this. So now they're on the way. Uh, I've also purchased some 95th Rifleman, and I'm looking into how to base and paint everything. And there's a game system that I've always wanted to play called Sharp Practice. Uh, I'm looking around for other 28mm Napoleonics, because with Napoleonics, like, it's, it's a strange kind of tabletop thing, because if you want to reenact a battle like a large battle like Waterloo, you know, there's like six millimeter and, and, and larger and smaller. Like there's, there's different scales that work better for that. 28 millimeter. If you were going to do a battle of Waterloo with 28 millimeter, like you would not have the table space for that. That's insane. You could do a small part of that. You know, you could do, you know, like Hugomot or something like that. Like you could do a small part of the battle, but even then that's huge. We're talking hundreds and maybe even thousands of miniatures at that point. If they're 28 mil and they're still big. So I wasn't sure what to do with them, but then I came across Sharp Practice, where it's more of a skirmish game, which first Kentuckians were skirmishers. I'm like, hey, that kind of speaks to me, you know? Um, and so it's a little more smaller scale with larger scale models, which I'm interested in painting and, and building. So that's it. That's the new project that's on the way. Uh, I'm excited, uh, nervous. I mean, it's a big project that I'm getting into, and I kind of want to take you guys along with me. So they should be arriving in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I think I've decided what I want to paint them as. I think I'm going to make them the first Royal Scots because they have the advantage of having been through there throughout the Peninsular, Peninsular Campaign. They've been there at Waterloo. But more importantly to me, they are also there in the War of 1812. I mean, every summer we reenact against the Royal Scots because there's local reenacting groups who actually portray them. So it, that's kind of cool to me, uh, which definitely means that I need to track down some miniatures to be the first Kentuckians because I don't have to explain that. So yeah, so I'm going to do this, probably going to end up getting some French at some point too, uh, because I mean, why just stop at the British? You need to have somebody to shoot at, right? But uh, yeah, so I've been rambling, I'm a rambler. I'm sure you guys remember that. Uh, it's been a while, and I'm excited to get into this. Uh, I'm going to take you guys with me for this project, if you're, you know, if you care to stay. 
And yeah, um, so just in closing, I, I never stopped. I've always been here painting. I just wasn't sure what to do with this. And you know what? This project's bigger than Palinor Fields and, and the Lord of the Rings miniatures, so I'm not done. So. Hey everyone, it's me again. Um, pardon the change in quality, I'm doing this on my phone because I'm lazy. I actually filmed that video a long time ago and lots of things have changed. Don't worry, I'm not abandoning any of the projects I talked about. In fact, I've already painted quite a few between then and now. Uh, I should probably get the cadence of these videos down because, like I said, a lot has changed. Since then, I have actually discovered a gaming group that plays Lord of the Rings. So, I've been bit by the Lord of the Rings bug again. I am woefully, like, 100% back into Lord of the Rings. I've played several games against some great people, and it's just reinvigorated my love uh, for that game system and just for Lord of the Rings in general. So, there's gonna be more Lord of the Rings miniatures. In fact, I think I've painted about 20 Lord of the Rings miniatures between that video uh, and now, which that was like two months ago. Uh, so I've been playing several games, testing out lists, meeting great people, so there's gonna be a lot more videos about that. Uh, again, not giving up on, on my Waterloo project or anything, because I mean, I'm gonna finish these guys too, but Lord of the Rings might be back in the driver's seat. So there's gonna be more videos about the lists that I'm using, maybe the opponents and the games I've played, and uh, so look forward to that. So, Pat Sean doesn't know what he's talking about, and everything that guy said that is bullshit. Uh, no, I'm kidding, but obviously uh, things have changed and we're back. So I'm going to let him finish out the video, though. Anyways, this has just been kind of a preliminary uh, introduction. Uh, once the miniatures show up, I'll probably go through things with you. And yeah, we'll start this journey together. So until next time, take care and uh, we'll see you.